Elan Reeve Musk was born on June 28, 1971, in Pretoria, one of South Africa's capital city. His mother is May Musk, a model and dietitian born in, Canada, and raised in South Africa. His father, Errol Musk, is a South African electromechanical engineer, pilot, sailor, consultant, and property developer, who is a half-owner of a Zambian emerald mine, near Lake Tanganyika. Musk has a younger brother, Kimball, and a younger sister, Tosca. Musk's family was wealthy during his youth. His father was elected to the Pretoria City Council, as a representative of the anti-apartheid progressive party. His maternal grandfather, Joshua Haldeman, was an adventurous American-born Canadian, who took his family on record-breaking journeys to Africa and Australia, in a single-engine Belonka airplane. After his parents divorced in 1980, Musk chose to mostly live with his father. Musk regretted his decision, and has become estranged from his father. He has a paternal half-sister, and a half-brother, close family members, and friends describe Musk as an awkward, and introverted child. At age 10, he developed an interest in, computer and video games, teaching himself how to program from the VIC-20, user manual. Musk attended Vaterkloof House, Preparatory School, Bryanston High School, and Pretoria Boys High School, from which he graduated. Musk applied for a Canadian passport through his Canadian-born mother, knowing that it would be easier to immigrate to the United States this way, while waiting for his application to be processed, he attended the University of Pretoria for five months, Musk arrived in Canada in June 1989, and lived with his cousin for a year, working odd jobs at a farm and lumber mill, in 1990, he entered Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, two years later, he transferred to the University of Pennsylvania where he completed studies for a Bachelor of Arts degree in Physics, and a Bachelor of Science, in Economics from the Wharton School. He reportedly hosted large, ticketed house parties, to help pay for tuition, and wrote a business plan, for an electronic book scanning service, similar to Google Books. In 1994, he held two internships in Silicon Valley, one at the energy storage startup, and another at the Palo Alto-based, startup Rocket Science Games. In 1995, he was accepted to a Ph.D. program, in materials science at Stanford University, however, Musk decided to join the internet boom, instead dropping out two days after being accepted, and applied for a job at Netscape, to which he reportedly never received a response. In 1995, Musk, his brother Kimball, and Greg Corey founded Zip2, Errol Musk provided them with $28,000, in funding, the company developed, an internet city guide, with maps, directions, and yellow pages, and marketed it to newspapers, they worked at a small rented office, in Palo Alto, Musk coding the website every night, eventually, Zip2 obtained, contracts with the New York Times, and the Chicago Tribune, the brothers persuaded the board of directors, to abandon a merger with City Search. however, Musk's attempts to become CEO, were baffled, Compaq acquired Zip2, for $307, million in cash, in February 1999, and Musk received $22, million for his 7% share. In 1999, Musk co-founded X.com, an online financial services company. It was one of the first federally insured, online banks, and over 200,000 customers, joined in its initial months of operation. Investors regarded Musk as inexperienced, and replaced him with CEO Bill Harris by the end of the year. In 2000, X.com merged with online bank Confinity, to avoid competition. Musk then returned as CEO of the merged company, his preference for Microsoft over Unix-based software, caused a rift among the company's employees, and led Peter Thiel, Confinity's founder, to resign, with the company suffering from compounding technological issues and the lack of a cohesive business model, the board ousted Musk and replaced him with Thiel in September 2000, in 2002, PayPal was acquired by eBay, for $1.5 billion of which Musk, the largest shareholder with 11.72% of shares, received $175.8 million. In 2017, more than 15 years later, Musk purchased the X.com domain from PayPal for its sentimental value. In 2001, Musk became involved with the non-profit Mars Society, and discussed funding plans, to place a growth chamber for plants on Mars. He traveled to Moscow, with Jim Cantrell and Adio Resi to buy refurbished intercontinental ballistic missiles, that could send the greenhouse payloads into space. But he returned empty-handed, in 2002, the group returned to Russia, with Mike Griffin to look for three ICBMs, 
they had another meeting with Cosmotras, and were offered one rocket for $8 million, which Musk rejected, he instead decided to start a company, that could build affordable rockets, with $100 million of his own money, Musk founded SpaceX in May 2002, and became the company's CEO, and chief engineer. SpaceX attempted, its first launch of the Falcon 1 rocket in 2006, though the rocket failed to reach Earth orbit, it was awarded a commercial, Orbital Transportation Services Program, contract from NASA Administrator, after two more failed attempts, that nearly caused Musk and his companies to go bankrupt, SpaceX succeeded in launching the Falcon 1, into orbit in 2008. Later that year, SpaceX received a $1.6 billion, commercial supply services contract, from NASA for 12 flights of its Falcon 9 rocket, comma and Dragon spacecraft, to the International Space Station, replacing the Space Shuttle after its 2011 retirement. In 2012, the Dragon vehicle docked with the ISS, a first for a commercial spacecraft. In 2018, SpaceX launched the Falcon Heavy, the inaugural mission carried Musk's personal Tesla Roadster, as a dummy payload. Since 2019, SpaceX has been developing Starship, a fully reusable, super heavy lift launch vehicle, intended to replace the Falcon 9, comma and the Falcon Heavy. In 2020, SpaceX launched its first crewed flight, the Demo 2 becoming the first private company, to place astronauts into orbit, comma, and dock a crewed spacecraft with the ISS. Motors, was incorporated in 2003 by Eberhard and Tarpenning, comma, and played active roles in the company's early development. Prior to Musk's involvement, Musk led the Series A, round of investment in February 2004, he invested $6.50 million, comma, and became the majority shareholder, comma, and joined Tesla's board of directors, as chairman following a series of escalating conflicts in 2007, and the financial crisis of 2007-2008, Eberhardt was ousted from the firm, Musk become CEO and product architect in 2008, a 2009 lawsuit settlement with Eberhardt designated Musk as a Tesla co-founder, along with Tar Penning and two others, as of 2019, Musk was the longest tenured CEO of any automotive manufacturer globally, in 2021. Musk nominally changed his title to Technoking while retaining his position as CEO. Tesla first built an electric sports car, the Roadster, in 2008, with sales of about 2,500 vehicles. It was the first serial production all electric car to use lithium ion battery cells. A mass market sedan, the Model 3, was released in 2017. This model is all time best selling plug in electric car worldwide, and in June 2021 it became the first electric car to sell 1 million units globally. Under Musk, Tesla has also constructed multiple, lithium-ion battery and electric vehicle factories, named Gigafactories, since its IPO in 2010. Tesla stock has risen significantly, it became the most valuable car maker in summer 2020. In October 2021, it reached a market capitalization of $1 trillion, the sixth company in U.S. history to do so. In November 2021, Musk proposed, on Twitter, to sell 10% of his Tesla stock, since much is made lately of unrealized gains being a means of tax avoidance, after more than 3.5 million Twitter accounts supported the sale, Musk sold $6.9 billion of Tesla stock within a week, a total of $16.4 billion. Musk expressed interest in buying Twitter in 2017, and had previously questioned, the platform's commitment to freedom of speech, in January 2022. Musk started purchasing Twitter shares, reaching a 9.2% stake by April, making him the largest shareholder. When this was publicly disclosed, Twitter shares experienced the largest intraday price surge since the company's 2013. On April 4, Musk agreed to a deal that would appoint him to Twitter's board of directors and prohibit him from acquiring more than 14.9% of the company. However, on April 13, Musk made a $43 billion offer to buy Twitter, launching a takeover bid to buy 100% of Twitter's stock at $54.20 per share. In response, Twitter's board adopted a poison pill shareholder rights plan to make it more expensive, for any single investor to own more than 15% of the company, without board approval. Nevertheless, by the end of the month Musk had successfully concluded his bid for approximately $44 billion. This included about $12.5 billion in loans against his Tesla stock, and $21 billion in equity financing. Tesla's stock market value sank by over $100 billion, the next day in reaction to the deal, causing Musk to lose around $30 billion of his net worth. He subsequently tweeted criticism of Twitter executive, Vijay Agade's policies to his 86 million followers, 
which led to some of them engaging in sexist and racist harassment against her. Exactly a month after announcing the takeover, Musk stated that the deal was on hold following a report that 5% of Twitter's daily active users were spam accounts, causing Twitter shares to drop more than 10%. Although he initially affirmed his commitment to the acquisition, he sent notification of his termination of the deal. In July, Twitter's board of directors responded that they were committed to holding him to the transaction. On July 12, 2022, Twitter formally sued Musk in the Chancery Court of Delaware for breaching a legally binding agreement to purchase Twitter. In October 2022, Musk reversed again, offering to purchase Twitter at $54.20 per share. The acquisition was officially completed on October 27. Immediately after the acquisition, Musk fired top Twitter executives like CEO Parag Agrawal, whom he replaced. He instituted an $8 monthly subscription for a blue check and laid off a significant portion of the company's staff. On December 18, Musk posted a poll to his Twitter account asking users to decide whether he should step down as the head of Twitter, with 57.5% out of the more than 17.5 million votes supporting the decision. Musk then announced that he would resign as CEO as soon as I find someone foolish enough to take the job.